it's Rachel welcome back to my channel so for today's video I will be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how I edit my YouTube teaser posters using my phone and I'm going to prove to you that you don't need a laptop nor a graphic design background or a degree to come up with this unique designs and I decided to make a dedicated video tutorial on each posters now for my first tutorial it would definitely be my most requested poster tutorial which is this action figure poster this was not my original idea but i have seen a lot of action figure edits on pinterest and my main inspiration would be this edit from a k-pop album cover and i'm not really sure if it's an album cover but it's from loco and woman j song which is called balance but as you can see, I really tried to remake it as much as I can, but this was really hard to make for me, especially I have no guide from the start. And for this tutorial, I won't be doing the entire thing from scratch because that would take me so much time. But rather, I would explain how I made each layers of this edit. So let's start. First things first, what are the apps that I use? First app would be the Over app, which is my main app. If you already watch my collage tutorial, you would definitely know that I use this on every edit that I do. And the next is the Pixart app, and I only use this for PNG purposes or drawings. And the next is the Autodesk sketchbooks, and it is also for drawings or shapes. And lastly is the InShot app, and I use this for text purposes. Okay, now let's begin the tutorial. First thing that you need to make is the hard paper cover at the back of the action figure. For you to make this, open your PixArt app, select the transparent color background, and then next is select the draw tool. Add or select the curved edge square, fill it so it would be a solid color, and then select your desired color. As for me, it was pink, kinda pitchy color, Hold and drag downward to create a rectangle. After that, you save it. Go to the other app. Here, I changed the background to yellow, add the hard paper cover, added some shadow, and adjusted it according to my liking. And then next is this hook hole thingy. I'm not really sure what you call it, but what I did was I opened the Autodesk sketchbook and then I changed the background to transparent. And as for my pen, I use the fountain pen. From the menu, select the draw styles, then press line. This would help you create straight lines. Change the size of the pen to 59.8, then select a white color. First, I drew a straight line and then I added the circle at the middle. And then it is done. And open again your over app, add it to your edit and add shadows. And then after that, I added this plain white rectangle at the middle to serve as the base background of my action figure. This was just super easy to make. Go to shape, select square, hold and drag down to create a rectangle. You can also do this to PixArt if you don't have an over app pro. I added yet again another rectangle doing the same steps but this time I changed the color of the rectangle to gray and then I adjusted its opacity and shadow. Next would be this gray shadow of the action figure. Go to the PixArt app again, choose the transparent background and then select your picture. I don't have the original photos that's why I used another picture so I could demonstrate on how I made them. So after selecting the picture, go to draw again, select the color which is light gray, adjust the size of the brush and then start outlining the picture. It should be beyond it so it would look like a border. And do this until you cover the entire picture then after you finish it, go save it and then after that you can add it to your over app again and adjust its opacity you would also need another white shadow for this action figure so do the same steps again but change the color into white now you can add your action figure so i purposely post like an action figure or a doll to make it look real so go watch my collage tutorial so you would 
know how I removed the background of the photo that I want. Then I added another gray rectangle above the action figure, adjusted the opacity. So what I did next is I added this plastic cover thing that I found on Google and go to blend mode. Change its settings to multiply, drag the plastic to the same shape of the gray rectangle or crop it if you want drag it and i placed it on top of the action figure and using the mask tool i removed the parts of the plastic from the action figure doll and then i added another layer of plastic cover but this time this one has more shine to it and i just repeat the same steps again and again And then after doing that, I went again to PixArt, drew a stroke rectangle, and then changed the size color of the rectangle. Then I placed another rectangle but in the color white beside it. And then I went over up again and put it on top of the plastic cover to make it look like a border. Next would be this Shopee text. And I made it using the InShot app. I opened the photo, I added the text, letter by letter, starting with the letter S. I changed the color to pastel colors, and also the font, which is called Lazy Bones. And I added border to it to emphasize the text. And then I repeated the same steps again and again until I completed the word Shopee. After that, I went to the over app and I added the shine texture that I downloaded on Chrome. I masked and removed the gray background surrounding it, adjusted the opacity, and then I placed it where I think the shine would be appropriate to place. I think I added four or five shine textures on the plastic cover of the action figure. Then the next step would be this laminated marks. I don't know what it is called but I used this vertical dots and I cropped it so it would fit to the side of the plastic cover and I adjusted the opacity to make it gray like and then place it to the side so it would look like the action figure is sealed with a plastic cover and then I added five of these to the sides of the plastic cover. To make the lamination complete, I added these circles to the four corners of the plastic cover. It's super basic. We just need a simple circle, change the color to gray, adjust the opacity and minimize it. Place it on every corner and you will be needing four of these. And then after that, I added this women clothing accessories icons that I also downloaded on Google and select blend, change it from normal to screen to remove the black background and adjust the opacity and I placed it below the plastic cover. Then I added the text Y2K Shopee Hall above those icons. Next is I added this flower stickers which you can find in the PixArt app and I added two on both sides of the Shopee text. After that, to make it more realistic, I added this choking hazard PNG from Google at the bottom of the action figure. You can just easily download it by just searching choking hazard PNG on Google and I also added a barcode on top of the box. And I also downloaded it on Google again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Google. Then next are the texts. And first is the number of the action figure. So I just placed it on top. Second is the description of the action figure. Third is produced by whom. So I just placed produced by Shell Ganya. And another design that I added is the red sticker thing that you would always see on toys. The text should always captivate the consumer's eyes. So I added this text which is 
super trendy all clothes below 400 pesos and for the next step we will be doing this line at the side so open again the autodesk sketchbook repeat the same steps like last time make the background transparent change the pen to fountain pen make the size of the pen to its maximum size change the color and then go to draw styles again select lines make a vertical line and then place another vertical line above it which would look something like this so i added some text like the main idea of the video what is the video all about the title the date when will i upload it etc etc so you can just add different kind of text that you want and then it is done that is how i made this action figure poster and i hope i explained it really well and you understood it if you ever make it or post it on your social media accounts make sure you tag me so i could see your works and thank you again for watching my videos let me know what poster i should do next on my tutorial number two thank you bye